What is going on everybody? This is Slick from Breaking the Clutch and today I am back with another video. We have a new leader, a DLC leader Kinsano dropped today, which fixed a lot of issues I truly think about the game. Now for this I'm going to be showing you a quick build order on Kinsano Jackrabbits, which I believe to be the strongest possible Jackrabbit slash opener period for UNSC as of right now. So as you can see I threw down one supply pad build a jackrabbit and then build up for grenade launcher and then I just go supply pads. What I do is four supply pads and then one generator and I'll get a mini base expansion and then throw a supply pad on that as well after my third supply pad is up. What's really crucial here is that you get all the power possible on the map. As you can see, I am immediately sending my jackrabbit out to grab that. That's the first thing I do as my jackrabbit comes out, I grab a mini base. Um, what you need to pay attention to really crucially here are the leader power upgrades for Kinsano. One in particular is very crucial to this build. And uh, as you're gonna see here, I'm gonna use jackrabbit to grab all the power. See, I'm already buying my mini base as my third supply pad is completing, sending all of my Marines out for uh, power as well. I'm a huge fan of Kinsano, uh, believe it or not. I think she's a little too strong right now. There definitely needs to be a little bit of nerfage going on with her as some other things in the game as well. But um, as of right now, she is the best UNSC leader to use and I think Jackrabbits are the strongest opener. Um, believe it or not, <clears throat> it's really tough, man. Uh, the DLC and the, the patch... It's, uh, it's really changed the meta a lot. Uh, marine grenades are just basically, they're just useless at this point. They're not very viable. Marine grenades versus grunts. You can get 18 grunts by the time you have 10 marines. It is absolutely ridiculous how simple it is to overpower grunts, or I'm sorry, marines at this point with grunts. And believe it or not, jackrabbits are the only opener I could do right away that I'm used to that could beat the grunts. So I just assume jackrabbit might be the best one as of right now. Now, I have lost two games out of the 18 I played last night using this build with Presto. Some great double UNSC play. Uh, we actually lost to a double Kinsano twice. And uh, just like us, we're running double Kinsano as well. And what they did is they turtled up in their base and just went straight for, uh, went straight for Wolverines, Cyclops. Uh, Kodiaks and Warthogs is really interesting and then they went into Hornets. It was the, the cool thing about this update is that it really it allows creative play. You really have to think about what you're doing and you have to build into something different than your opener, which I think is it's so great because it, it, like I said a lot of in a lot of my previous videos is how mindless the strategies were as we release this game. Just like this strategy is pretty mindless, but this mindlessness in the beginning you have to turn it into creativity. You're forced to expo if somebody holds it down. If you build a turret, turrets are way too strong for UNSC right now as well. That's probably going to get changed, but those turrets are so strong that you're forced to tech up and expand and come up with a different play. Figure something out. Turtle or contain your opponent, just like I've talked about in 1's gameplay, 2's gameplay. But right now, this is the strongest opener, I think, for Kinsano. I absolutely love her upgrade Redline. Um, the first thing I do is get the, uh, the proxy turret upgrade for the leader power and then I get Redline. Now what Redline does is that gives a speed and damage boost to all units upon deployment. As you can see, my Jackrabbits right there are flashing like weird, weird orange sparks. Essentially what that means is it means that they're super fast. They fl they're fast as it is, guys. They are faster than before the original patch for speed and all that. So these things are just absolutely ridiculous off spawn. And like I said, increased damage as well for a while. It's it's definitely overpowered. That's why she's the best leader to use for UNSC. As you can see right there, fucking Shipmaster Mind just blew up half of Presto and my force, which is annoying. But it doesn't matter. Like I said, Jackrabbits just overpower Marines, Grunts, whatever you have to throw. One thing I'm really excited about is that Banisher now viable as well. Um, it's, it's pretty insane to see what Banshees can do. Banshees are extremely strong, and the Grunt Opener, like I said, is also really great if you do in large numbers. You don't even have to throw in Jump Pack Brutes. They're still pretty effective, even with or without the mines. It doesn't matter. Just the the sheer amount that you can have of Grunts in the beginning of the game is ridiculous. Just like the Jackrabbit play, it's good to have Jackrabbits back, but it's also kind of salty. Got a salty taste in my mouth. Just because these things, like I said, mindless opener into creative play. While you're doing it, you're just like, I feel like a dick. And <clears throat> it's exactly that. As you're going to see here, choppers don't even stand a chance. Ram is cool and all, but it's just not good enough. So all of their scouts compared to Jackrabbits are still trash. Kinsano's leader powers just kind of help her out even more. There's another Kinsano leader power. I can't remember the name of it. Of course, these are, uh, these are my first couple of games, so I really can't, I can't effectively judge Kinsano 100%. But 
With the leader power, she has one that makes it so every single time a unit gets a kill, it gets an, a, a damage boost, which is insane as well, because say if your units are getting super fast speed going across the map with the damage boost and then killing units and getting more damage boosts, like Jackrabbit to Jackrabbit, if you're not Kinsano, and you're running Jackrabbits against Kinsano Jackrabbits, you're gonna get absolutely just fucked. So, I'm really excited about the way that they've done the patch. I like that the creativity is encouraged. I like that you have to think a little bit more. I like that the hardest rush in the game to stop can be stopped. That's something that is a, it's a step in the right direction. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're excited about Kinsano. We'll have a lot more gameplay coming out with Kinsano, especially now that Ranked's out as well. We'll be showing you guys some Onyx gameplay soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Slick from Breaking the Clutch, and we'll see you guys next time.